Hi, my name is Kevin Martin for the Supplemental Instruction series of videos for Chem 121. Today we're going to be talking about operations with significant figures. Operations with significant figures? That's right, Joey. Hello everybody, I'm Joey Smokey, and yeah. we'll be presenting this episode. So, I thought I already talked about the concept. Oh, the concept is sig figs, sure. I yeah. mean, you know how, many, how to determine how many sig figs you have, but you still have to add, subtract, multiply, and divide the things. Oh, I guess that makes sense. So... I'm lazy, though. Can't we have somebody else do that? Uh, yes, but we can't re rely too much on our calculators and other people, so... That's true. It's nice if we know how to do things. Now, okay. let's start with addition and subtraction. They kind of go hand in hand. 1 plus 1 equals 3, right? In for very large values of 1. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so say we have something like this, 32.7 plus 4.19. That's a crazy looking plus sign. Yes, <laughs> that's how I roll. Okay, so we have three sig figs and three sig figs, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So the way it goes with addition and subtraction, so probably be easier if you drop it down to this level. As you can see, this number only goes one place past the decimal, but this number goes two places past the decimal. Ah, okay. Now, if we were to straight up add the things up, mm -hmm. we would get this. So that's a 9 there, that's an 8 there, then that's a 6 there, and that's a 3 there. 36.89. All right. Okay. Now, that's all well and good, but if you're a scientist, that's not quite how you should report it. I bet I know why. Why is that? Because this one is more precise past the decimal point, mm -hmm. whereas this one isn't. Yes, because okay. we're basically trying to extrapolate that there's something, that there's nothing there, but we don't know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we only have what we get from here. It's just 0. 0.7. Yes, 0. 0.7. We don't we know don't, if there's a zero. We or don't know if it's, or if it's even like 0. 0.68 or something. Yeah. So, so the common practice is to stop at the last place where of known precision. So in other words, since it stops at the tenths place here, mm -hmm. then the answer is also going to stop at the tenths place. Okay, gotcha. And so, still using our rounding rules, what would this turn into? Well, the number to the right of that is greater than 5, so it's going to round up, so it's going to be 36.9. That is correct. Okay. So that's how you would work with addition. Subtraction uses the same sort of concept. Okay, so addition and subtraction, what you want to look for is the number with the fewest number of significant figures to the right of the decimal point. And that is the number of sig figs that we're going to use in our answer. That's right. Okay. Cool. Alright. Now, let's go on to multiplication and division. This is a little different. Of course. <laughs> Otherwise, there'd be no entire section devoted to it. That's true. Anyway, so say we had, let's see, 3.6 times 1.89. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't feel like doing that in my head. So... I'll get the calculator. That's a good idea. Now, with multiplication and division, it's sl a slightly different matter. So we are going to wait for Joey to get his calculator. Okay, hang oh, on the calculator. There it is. Calculator's cool. Okay, so we're going to go 3.6 times 1.89. These are fantastic devices. 6.804. 6.804. Okay. Now, it's a pretty interesting number. Now, the thing with uh, multiplication and division, it works a little differently because here there's two significant figures. Here there's three, but the answer has four. Okay, so I'm gonna take a wild guess here. Okay. But because you know with addition and subtraction, what we were looking for is the fewest number of decimal points to the right of the decimal point. Uh-huh. But since this is multiplication and division, but everything, you know, is multiplied and divided by everything else and all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff, I'm gonna say it's not gonna matter how many are to the right of the decimal point, so much as just the actual number of sig figs altogether. That's correct. Okay. So Keeping that in mind, what does this boil down to? I'm going to say 6.8. And you would be correct, sir. All right, that makes sense, because here we only have two sig figs. 
That one has three. Since this is more precise, this one isn't quite as precise, yes. then we can only be as precise as the you know the lowest precise number we're given. So and, and again, the the decimal places or whatever doesn't matter. It's the number of sig figs with multiplication and division. Okay, that works. Very simple stuff. Not that bad. Not that bad. So Addition and subtraction, look for the fewest number of sig figs to the right of the decimal point. Multiplication and division, just look for the fewest number, period. That's right. Alrighty, works for me, Kevin. Alright. We'll see you later. See ya.